everybody, welcome back to TCS Star Frogs. I'm Travis, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna to show you how to culture flightless fruit flies. These little guys make great food for dart frogs, other small reptiles, amphibians, and fish. And in a few easy steps, I'm gonna show you how you can inexpensively culture these in your own home. So let's get started. First I'll go over the supplies you need to culture flies. You'll need some cups with fruit fly proof lids, some media which you can buy online or make at home, some measuring cups, some white vinegar, some water, and a producing fruit fly culture to get your starter flies. The first fly that I'm going to talk about today is Drosophila melanogaster which is a smaller species of fly and probably the most common fly that you'll see in the pet trade for a feeder insect. So to start off you want to take one third cup of dry media and place it in your fruit fly cup and then you're going to want to add to that a splash of vinegar. The vinegar is going to help prevent mold in the fruit fly culture and then to that you're going to want to add about half a cup of water. The media will look really runny at first but if you give it a few minutes to set up the media should absorb all the water. After the media has solidified you can go ahead and add some sort of surface area. I use coffee filters to add surface area. This will give the larva a good place to pupate. Now it's time to add flies. I use a larger container around the cup to catch any escaped flies as they pour them from one container to the other. You can start a culture with anywhere from 15 to 100 flies. The second fly that I'm going to talk about today is Drosophila hydei, which is a larger species of fruit fly. The size of these flies makes them a good choice if you're feeding a slightly larger type of dart frog as you won't have to make as many cultures. The only difference in making cultures for this type of fly is that I use twice the amount of media and twice the amount of water as well as twice the amount of vinegar. And I do add a few extra coffee filters as well because the weight of these flies will actually push the coffee filters down into the media. Not just the weight of the flies but the weight of the maggots as well. And now you can go ahead and add the flies in that Hydei culture also. So about a week or two after you start your cultures you should see a line of maggots like this in the top of the media. These will turn into pupa which are basically like a little cocoon and those pupa will hatch out into flies and then once you have plenty of flies you can dust those with your choice of calcium or mineral powder and then it's time to feed your frogs or whatever animals you're feeding the flies to. And I didn't think anyone would mind if I added some footage of some frogs eating, so I hope you enjoyed this little montage of dart frogs eating flies.
Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And if you're interested in purchasing fruit flies or supplies, you can find those on my website, tcsstartfrogs.com. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Facebook. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.